up alongside head coach Teresa Weatherspoon. We talked about the, re the tradition returns last year and the, all the tradition also returns with the Lady Texter Show because it's been, it's been a quite a long time that has been absent from a lot of Tech fans. Talk a little bit about the importance of this, what this really means to you and the possibilities of what it means for our, our girls right now. Well, I know when we had it, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of kids that probably wanted to be a part of Louisiana Tech had an opportunity to see what we do, see how we are, see the personnel, understand that we are a lot of fun and the work that we put in. Uh, it really helps with recruiting. And that's the main thing, it's a recruiting tool. And it also gives people an opportunity to see our kids, not only as basketball players, but as people. And I think it's important that it comes back so people can get to see what we really are all about and the support that's truly needed. The support that's truly needed. At one time, 26 consecutive NCAA tournament appearances. The streak was snapped. You returned it last year. Can we start another 26 consecutive tournament appearances? How, how confident are you in that possibility? See, that's the thing. I'm, I'm a very confident person. I'm a very uh, positive thinker, super positive thinker. And uh, I believe that the only reason I'm here is to do those things. We came here to win but we got to win in the right way. we got to get people in here uh, who wants to get it done and get it done in a lady texture way in the way in which we as a, a staff are asking. Uh, I believe it can be done. Uh, does it take uh, game by game, step by step, practice by practice, recruiting one player after the other? Yes, that's what it takes. But can it be done? Of course. I say yes, it can be done. That's through confident and positive thinking. Positive thinking. You have some new jerseys this year, some jerseys that hmm. have, have received a lot of uh, discussion amongst the community, some good, some bad, but you know, you really can't please everybody. That's right. um, let's talk a little bit about the black uniforms and, and how that really kind of came about. Well, just, it, it really is kudos to Under Armour. You know, they came up with what they thought would look nice in this time, this day and age, what kids are liking. It's all about catering. Right. It's all about catering and it's not about pleasing people. I want my kids to be comfortable and I want to be comfortable with what we have. And Under Armour has done a, a wonderful job of mixing in our colors and it looks really, really nice. Uh, and, and it's really Under Armour and the colors that they put together and we agree and then we move on. I'm not worried about what color we go to win in, we just go to win. And, and a lot of times most people call the black uniforms the one you're going to really get down in. So we kind <laughs> like of like that, word. that get down in. <laughs> so just be careful. <laughs> so I, re I really like it. I like the colors. I like how they put things together. I like the shoes that they've placed uh, on, our, on our players' feet and the way it looks with our uniform. We do want to go and represent properly and look nice, but it's not about how we look. We want to go and play and play hard. We're just thankful that Under Armour puts together something nice for us to have. And one of the questions that the Lady Texas got from their Twitter page was, you know, were the black uniforms going to be the traditional road uniforms or were they going to be an alternate or were the Columbia blue uniforms still going to exist? How is that going to kind of play out? Oh, can, you, can you answer that for the, the, the Twitter followers that the Lady Texas okay. may have? For all the Twitter followers, <laughs> I will never go away from Columbia blue. That's our, those are our colors. Uh, that's just something different to be shown, uh, to be seen, and that's all it is. But, and you'll always see Columbia blue no matter what the uniform is, mm -hmm. but we will definitely have our Columbia uni uniforms. I would never go away from that. And, uh, you're talking about you know, building an appealing program and you know, for recruiting purposes. Let's talk a little bit about this recruiting class. 2011 has promise written all over it. Let's talk a little bit about the five prospects you signed. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's very difficult to get five kids from high school. Normally you might get a JUCO kid or two, but we got five kids from high school that we can have with us for four years and blend all of that together. But the thing about these five kids, all five of them have been very well coached. Mm. All five are coachable kids. All five are willing to get it done at all costs. All five are positive thinkers. All five are entering into Louisiana Tech saying they are going to make their mark. That's enough for me. That's enough for me because now we're rolling. Now our kids that are here now have opened doors for people to take a look at what Louisiana Tech Lady Texas are doing. Now people want to be a part of it. 
And that's what's happening. People want to be a part of what we're doing. And it's going to be a step by step, but we will definitely start to crack into the goals in which we have set for ourselves. Any words for the Texas fans who may be watching this internet show or podcast that you, that you essentially kind of want to uh, send to them? Well, I really appreciate the support. We definitely need it. But this is something that we feel like we need to get out there to you all so you all can see us, understand us, and support us because every day these young ladies are going to give you everything that they have. They're going to fight hard. They're going to scratch and they're going to claw. All they need sometimes is for you all, the sixth man, to stand and clap for them and keep them, keep them going. So what we want you to do is to watch us, understand us, support us, and let's go Texas. Thank you, Coach Weatherspoon, for taking the time to speak with uh, myself, with the Lady Texas Show. Uh, sit back, relax, stay tuned, and uh, when I come back, I'll have my closing. You're watching the Lady Texas Show. A great man once said that preparation meets opportunity. Opportunity never meets preparation. In Texas, they're definitely prepared. They have the ingredients for the proper opportunity. The question remains on whether or not they're going to seize them. For the Lady Texas Show.